What separates Icon boats from the rest? Is it the styling? Is it the functionality? Is it the ride? We've been told we're the best built boat in the market. We put together the best team in the industry, inside the factory and out in the field. From the legacy of Hydra Sports to the creative ingenuity of HCB, it's a collaboration of years of experience. This is what we're made of. I'm Chuck Pippen from Icon Boats. I'm here at the Icon Boat Factory in Tennessee with Andrew Clements, head of engineering at Icon Boats, and we're standing in front of our clean power yacht harness. As a bass fisherman, before I was an employee of Icon, to be honest with you, when I thought of a wiring harness, I simply thought of powering my graphs or my GPS and fish finders, but I now know it's much more than that, and Andrew's gonna kind of walk through the significance of our wiring harness and everything that it does. We designed the system based on looking at what's in the market and also aftermarket, just trying to figure out what it is that these bass fishermen really need to have on their boats. Uh, trying to make things like rigging simple. So we included some components that normally get added after it leaves the factory. This front section kind of covers our bow area, which we designed that to accommodate up to three graphs and multiple transducers. The example we have up here is three 12 inch Garmin Echomac Ultra graphs, a live scope, the normal network hub that we have connected to it, that's the NEMA network. And uh, that total current was about 15 amps. So we sized this system up to 25 amps. So there's even additional capacity available for you. And that was really based on what we saw in the market, what we saw people doing. A lot of times you got these triple bow graph setups. So we worked that into our main harness as it stands. So there's not really, there's not additional uh, components or wiring that you have to add after the fact. Once this boat leaves the factory, it's ready to be rigged up with your electronics. I've rigged my own boats, my own two boats from Icon. And it's, I've rigged many of my own boats over the years. And to be honest, it was easy. You guys made it very simple. It was this bus bar right here is all I had to act. I had to run my power wires to the positive and negative to that. It's already set up. I just had to put the wire connectors on my actual units. It was the quickest I'd ever rigged a boat. What is, uh, what is this? That's actually the NEMA backbone. So we have a, a public and a private NEMA network in our system. So the private's just something we use internally for some of our controls, engine data, things like that. And then the public side is what's available for the graph communication. But like you pointed out, Chuck, we ran these distribution blocks for power and ground up to the bow. And there's actually another set over here, which is uh, at the helm for your helm electronics. Oh, so that's what would be accessible, but through the hood and an LX. Through right? the hood and the LX, and there's an additional NEMA backbone. So we provided both of those things just to make it easy. You open a hatch, you connect some wires to your blocks, and you're ready to go. That's awesome. What, uh, what style, I've heard, and this is something I'm still not familiar with is the Deutsch connectors. What's the significance of those? And what point that out to people? Cause we, we, we spout that out to people that we use those and what's the significance of those? There's a lot of different connector types out there. Uh, what we use is the same thing we use on our HCB yachts. This is a, a waterproof connector. It's used heavily in the automotive industry. So it's a robust, it's got good durability to it. You have good, strong connections with pin contacts. So you're not dealing with splices here and there everywhere. So I have a question here. When you open a compartment, like I think you, this is accessible in the day box, correct? In front uh, of an LX? Or this is actually in the helm itself the if helm. you open up that so lid. What, what are we looking at right here? These are the main power distribution modules. We just call that a PDM for short, but that's kind of the main backbone of what we have electrically. So you have a power supply from the batteries and they run through power distribution modules. That's where we use our proprietary software that we developed through our touchscreen and our uh, CAN button controllers to be able to do everything you need to do on an LX or even a VLX. So I get, it was already mentioned the eight gauge, eight gauge wire. That's the question from a common bass fisherman that I get the most is what gauge wire are you guys running? We run eight gauge. It's based off of an eight gauge system for the graphs. Correct? Yeah, the power distribution that runs up here is an eight gauge system. I mean, if you look at the ABYC calculations for voltage drop, that's even more than what you need. Right. But we went ahead and went that direction because that's kind of where you find feedback wise after market and 
even someone talking to some of the electronics manufacturers because we did engage with those a little bit just to see what their needs were so we did that for that including our trolling motor as well that's actually a four gauge wire that we run all the way up to the distribution block i mean this is another clean way that we do things where that's already labeled it's already got power run to it all you have to do is connect your trolling motor to it and you're ready to go and that, that four gauge i know uh, as of just the last few years a lot of boat manufacturers weren't using that thick of a wire but with all these new brushless motors that's kind of important yeah so moving on to what would be the back or the stern of the boat this is what you would see if you opened up your wing style lids in the transom area or the machine room or battery compartment as right. we call it that's bad fishermen what are we looking at here i know those are battery switches but ours are a little bit different i was even surprised at our battery switches so this is our distribution panel we use solenoid actuated battery switches so there's a button on the helm that you press that button it's one touch power so when you do that both of these switches will actuate on their own and they will make the connection so that you have power to the boat and then you have your trolling bank powered up as well and all of these are set up as easily resettable fuses and then up here you have your 60 amp blue water switch for the trolling motor just because that's such a high current this consumer. is kind of the cool factor because this is not something that was ever explained to me but I, and i kind of just noticed it on my own is when you hit our one touch power button these actually physically rotate which to me that was super cool and everybody we've shown that to it's just kind of crazy from a bass fisherman who's been in many other brands of bass boats that these rotate on and off by themselves correct which is which is awesome what is what is this coming down here what is, tell me about that uh this is just another extension of our our harness that goes to uh, we pre-wire the boat for shallow water anchors so just like you had with the trolling motor you have a power and ground distribution block that's properly labeled for your port and starboard anchors it makes the connection very simple and it comes down on the liner right next to where that space is for our uh, shallow water anchor hydraulic pumps so it's within you know eight inches of where you're actually going to need to make the connection this, this is very significant to me because in the past what everybody's you know boats have been around a lot longer than any kind of shallow water anchor has and when the shallow water anchors were all of a sudden there we were just stacking these on our cranking battery or our house battery terminals which is not always a good thing to just keep piling on your battery terminals. Correct. So this was something that was new to me. And one of the features that stuck out a lot is that we have a, a dedicated bus bar, right. if you will, just for your shallow water anchors. That's part of clean power is it includes the fact that the routing itself is clean because we've already included this in the harness and the drops. You got a nice label and you don't end up with this you know octopus of wire is sitting there on top of your batteries right so that's our wiring harness that's our clean power yacht harness it's much more than just powering your graphs and your electronics it's basically the backbone or the nervous system of our entire bass boat thanks for watching if you want to find out more about how icon boats are built check out these following videos